hello? Hello, TBF. Hey, Sean, listen up. The Bond franchise is in jeopardy. Certain issues need to be addressed. When a broad tries to bring in a tampon, millions of viewers are at grave danger. We need a real Bond critic that says what he thinks, not like those other pansies. The producers say that they are doing their absolute best, but remember, Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. Address this nonsense and make us proud. So you're probably wondering what the hell that was about. So this week the Hollywood Reporter released an interview with Bond girls Lashana Lynch and Ana de Armas on how they are modernizing Bond. Or, wait, Bond women is the term they like to go by. But yeah, no. In this article, Lashana was quoted in saying the following. She even talked to Walter Bridge, who is only the second woman in the history of the franchise to be credited writer after Johanna Harwood, about adding an issue that nearly every woman faces but rarely makes it into action films. We had one conversation about her maybe being on her period in one scene and maybe at the beginning of the scene, and I spoke to Carrie about this, throwing her tampon in the thing, says Lynch, making a motion of tossing trash into the bin. Now, just let that sink in for a moment. Who on earth would want to see that? I mean, I get that these chicks are trying to modernize Bond, you know, make it more woke and all that crap. And sure, it's no secret I'm a bit more conservative when it comes to Bond than perhaps maybe some other people would be. But regardless of your views in politics or feminism or whatever, even the most progressive thinking person out there should see that this is an absolute ridiculous idea. Imagine a Bond girl at the start of an action scene throwing her patties away. What's the point? How is that empowering to women? Sure, I know that the ladies have a situation every month and I know it never really gets addressed in movies, but does it have to? I mean, to me, that's just as ridiculous as featuring Bond taking a crap. For England, James? Oh, hang on, Alec. I'm almost finished. We know that people take shits and get on their periods, but how would that not make for one of the worst moments in the series? I mean, a tampon. What is she thinking? I cannot even believe I'm talking about a tampon now. This has to be one of the stupidest ideas I've ever heard for a Bond film. Heck, in any film. If Lashana does end up becoming the new 007 in the next film, what do you think the viewers are gonna associate the blood in the gun barrel with? I want her to have things that she's dealing with before she enters her scene, says Lynch of her Bond character. I think I've had enough space to explore her humanity as much as I could. So apparently that's her rationale for this. Her character is human. There are better ways around to show that than to have her throw away a tampon into the trash. Thank God Lashana is not the writer to this. I mean, surely, when she put this idea on Phoebe Wallace Bridge's table, she couldn't possibly have thought like, Oh yeah, girl, now that's a brilliant idea. We have to show that this character is a strong female and deals with her period like a boss in the middle of a shootout. I'll write it in. Right? I mean, we can assume so, right? If this makes its way into the movie, I have to seriously rethink my passion for Bond. There's no way. There, there's just no way. I'm not gonna lie, the rest of this article to me was pretty cringeworthy too. How they make it seem like the Bond girls in the past have had some serious problems with sexism, mostly due to the character of James Bond. Sure, I get that the times have changed, but Bond girls have always evolved with the times. Reading this stuff of Lashana and Phoebe Waller-Bridge, I really keep getting the sense that they just don't get their audience of Bond fans at all. I've addressed this in previous videos. 
Being a Bond girl is a tremendous honor. Once you step into the shoes of one, you're part of the series' history for life. Being a Bond girl alone is empowering in its own right. Honor Blackman is always extremely proud of her strong performance of Pussy Galore in Goldfinger. And that barn scene they referring to in the article, she always saw that for the playfulness that it was for the time and she always talks about how she loved the chemistry with Connery in that scene. Sure, times have changed but she's still proud of it. Look at Ursula Andress gloriously coming out of the sea, one of the most iconic and powerful images sent to women all around the world to this very day. She's still regarded as the absolute goddess among barn girls. Claudine Auger taking matters into her own hands and kills the man that imprisoned her, avenging her brother and rescuing Bond in the process. Eva Green owning the room in that gorgeous dress, showcasing strong female characters can be done in so many ways. Apparently it's the Bond women that need to showcase being on a period or as they say it, wearing the pants when it comes to their relationship with Bond. Well go on and tell the world, but just don't tell me. If it has to come down to this, I prefer Bond girls to Bond women any day. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Do you like my work and would you like to help this channel grow? Well, consider becoming part of the exclusive DBF community and help support my channel. What is the DBF community? Well, it's the community over at my Patreon page made for the biggest fans of my channel. Why did I create this community? Well, you see, every average project you see on here takes me roughly 30 to 40 hours to produce and upon uploading it, all revenue is pretty much taken away immediately by MGM or other film studios, unfairly as it goes against the fair use policies. So that's why I'm always looking for support and set up this community on Patreon for the biggest diehard fans of my work. I am a believer that those who support me should be rewarded with a ton of perks like getting two weeks early access to all my latest videos, receiving a personal thank you video from me. I will also send you my custom made Blu-ray covers that you can print out and put in empty Blu-ray boxes and you get exclusive access to the supporters discord server where you can chat with me and fellow Bond fans whenever you like. And everybody that supports me also builds towards new goals for the channel's future. All these perks come for a little $3 a month. All support is appreciated immensely. Thanks a lot guys.